Welcome to Dr. Charles Speaks, a podcast for now. You've joined us for a special series of transformational talks, selected exclusively from Dr. Charles' corporate success calls. The 15-minute calls are designed to encourage leaders, activate your thought life, and prepare you for the challenges ahead. Dr. Charles joins every call with a blend of his personal experiences, his expertise as a John Maxwell certified mentor and coach, and of course, his more than 30 years of exceptional experience in both corporate America and ministry. Get motivated with Dr. Charles Speaks, a transformational talk from the red line on today's podcast, inspiring excellence and generating results. Good day, my friends. Let's make it a great day today. I can never stop saying that. I say it on every broadcast. It is a good day, and now let's make it a great day because you have a part in it, I have a part in it, and what we do with this day and the rest of the week can make a positive difference. I'm all about positivity because I know there's negativity along the life's journey, but I'm here to inspire you and to encourage you to continue your personal leadership growth because you will make a difference. I want to talk about positive leaders, and I want to talk about them because what they do is that they lead with optimism, and they lead with positivity, and they lead with belief. And that is so important because anybody that's leading must be able to lead a team and must be able to overcome the obstacles and have optimism that a can-do spirit that will make all the difference. You know, someone wrote this, and I like to say this, no matter what anyone says, just show up and do the work. You may have heard this, but listen to this. If people praise you, show up and do the work. If they criticize you, show up and do the work. If no one even notices you, just show up and do the work. Just keep showing up, doing the work, and leading the way. I want you to lead with passion. I want you to fuel up with optimism. I want you to have faith. I want you to have the ability to power up yourself with love and maintain hope and be stubborn, fight the good fight of faith, and refuse to give up. As you've heard me say over and over, never, 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 ever give up. Ignore the critics. Believe in the impossible. Show up, my friends. Do the work, and you'll be glad you did because you will make a difference and you'll realize true success. So the time that we have on today, being a positive leader, is all about leading with faith in a world filled with negativity and fear. But I've got news for you, my friends. It's the leader's job to inspire the people with faith, leading with optimism, leading with positivity, and leading with faith versus fear. You've heard it said in the Word of God, God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. So I'm talking about optimism and positivity and belief But let me start with optimism. What do you mean, optimism? Optimism means believe in what's possible and know that there isn't a problem that can't be solved. That's what I'm talking about with optimism. Believe that it's possible. People say it can't be done. People said it never been done. People say you'll never make it. You'll never be anybody. Well, I got news for you. You just keep on believing and that all things are possible. And there isn't a problem that can't be solved. You know, in life, people, me, you, and others, we get knocked down. And those who see themselves as victims, unfortunately, they stay down. Well, we're going to go from victim to victor, and that's what I'm challenging everyone out there that feels like they're a victim and they're paralyzed and they can't get up and move forward. Get up because you are the victor, not the victim. But those who see themselves as everyday heroes and overcomers, they get back up, and they get back up and they arm themselves with optimism. They arm themselves with courage and faith. And what else do they do? They move forward in life and they take action to create a brighter and better future. 
And that's what I'm asking you to do is to always be optimistic and have belief that you too are an overcomer and that you are a hero in this society and no problem is too hard to be solved. Whether you win or whether you lose, don't stop believing. And so we've been talking about having optimism and positivity and belief. Number two, as a leader, you must remember that events are going to happen, whether the loss of a loved one, whether a broken marriage that ended in divorce, whether getting fired from your job or laid off, or whether your health has taken a hold of you in a way that you're unable to do the things that you would like to do. And there are going to be challenges, but one thing you've got to remember, challenges are going to come your way, but your job and my job is not to get stuck in the mud, not to sink to a lower level, but to keep our heads up and look for opportunities and the good that is coming your way. You know, someone says, as it goes in sports, you know, I like to use sports analogies, but they said, why play the game if you don't believe you can win? Now, you think about that. Why play the game if you don't think you can win? You've got to have the attitude and the mindset that every time you go out on the field of life, you're going to win. Because why play the game if you don't believe you can win? If you don't have optimism, you can't transform your team. You can't transform your organization. You can't even transform yourself if you don't have optimism. It starts first and foremost with you and with me. And so the next point I want to make is that uh, Rick Hendricks, he gives 10 keys to business success. And notice his number one key for business success is optimism. Optimism, that's what we've been talking about. We said optimism means believe in what's possible and know there isn't a problem that can't be solved. Faith you got to have faith, and faith and belief, they go hand in hand. But that third point that uh, is an important key to be successful in business is planning. You've got to have good planning and organization skills. You may have great ideals, but if you don't have good planning, you're not going to be able to get things done in a timely fashion. Another key that Rick talks about is determination. You may be down, but you're not out. You know, in boxing, you know, when the two get into the ring and they box and they duke it out and one of the boxers throws a strong right hook and the other boxer falls to the canvas, what happens? The referee runs, kneels down over the fallen victim, and he begins to count to ten. One, two, three. And at that point, that boxer who's on the canvas, is thinking in their mind, I just got hit really hard. I don't know if I'm able to give up, but they're determined and they're hearing perhaps the referee counting one, two, three, four, five, and before they could get to 10, they bounce up on their feet and they're back again fighting and perhaps they even won the fight altogether. And that's the kind of determination that you must have. I'm down, but I'm not out. I'm determined in the midst of it It may look gloomy, but the sunshine is coming my way. You got to have vision. If you can't see a thing, you can't achieve it. You've got to have the right attitude because the right attitude is going to affect the altitude. You want to go high? You got to have a great attitude. You got to stay positive. You've got to be able to overcome. You got to be able to see the good of the positive intent. I know sometimes people rub you the wrong way and your attitude might take a back seat, but I'm here to tell you, you just let it just rub off of you and keep it moving, as I've been saying. Another key to success is having goals. You know, you you may have the vision, it may be 2,000 miles away, 
But you set goals along the way. I'm going to take a break when we get to the 200-mile mark. I'm going to keep it moving after I take a break. I'm going to get to the 400, and I'm going to have another break. But along the way, you're setting goals because these will keep you focused, and they'll keep you right on target where you're going and your final destiny to get there. Those goals that you set, they're not so overwhelming that you just give up and give out. You know, I was reading and um, it was talking about a track star runner who runs, uh, not necessarily a track star, but a, a, a person who runs the marathon. As far as I'm concerned, they're stars because any time you got to run 26 miles, you got to really have it going on. But someone said that the first mile is the easiest and the 26th mile is the easiest because the 26th mile you can see the finish line and something within you just pushes you and gives you a surge to finish so number 1 and 26 are pretty simple it's that it's in the middle that a marathon runner around the 20 mile mark that's when their body is saying ouch and their mind is playing tricks with them and most times some just fall out and say, that's enough. But those that keep it going, they have the perseverance. And that's what we are interested in, in in getting ourselves to the place where we have, what? Perseverance. Another key to business success is certainly knowledge. You know, you could have all the gift of gab, but you got to know some business. You got to know some ins and outs. You got to know what you're talking about. You've got to have impact because just talking is just sounding noise, but when you have something to say and you can engage the people, then you will have a positive effect on them and they will follow you. But last but not least is enthusiasm. You know, I tell my folks all the time, I said, look, training we can provide, but passion and enthusiasm you must bring each and every day. Nobody's going to be there when that alarm clock goes off to push you out of bed. You're going to have to bounce out of bed if you have the enthusiasm and the passion to get busy to what it is that you're going to do for that day. You know, people often say they'll believe it when they see it. But in order to see results, you have to believe first that they are possible. If you don't believe it, It's not going to happen. And the main thing that disrupts belief is fear because fear believes in a negative future, whereas faith believes in a positive future. And so though you may have some questions along the way, but don't let fear set in because that's just going to make it that much more difficult. And so today, my friends, we've been talking about optimism and positivity and belief. So I'd just like to close out and say that when whatever comes your way, I want to encourage you to just keep running, keep staying positive, talk to yourself instead of listening to yourself, and make sure you celebrate and raise your hands in the air when you reached your destination. Always remember that certainty Optimism, belief, and faith must be greater than all the negativity, fear, and doubt. If you believe your best days are behind you, they are. If you believe your best days are ahead of you, they are. What we believe matters, my friends. So let's believe, let's work hard, and let's make it happen. You've been listening to Dr. Charles on the red line. I pray and I trust that this has been a blessing to you as positive leaders lead with optimism, positivity, and belief. God bless you and good day. Thank you for listening to Dr. Charles Speaks. Visit drcharlesred.com for booking info for your ministry, business, or leadership team. Get info about The Red Line, a 15-minute corporate success call each Monday morning with Dr. Charles. Follow Dr. Charles on all social media at Dr. Charles Red. Subscribe to the podcast here for every episode of Dr. Charles Speaks. Thanks for joining us. Like Dr. Charles always says, no matter what, never, never, never give up. Until next time.